Hello everyone, welcome to RBR Life Science, myself Rahul Rathod. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss two important enzymes that is hexokinase and glucokinase. Glycolysis is the principal route of metabolism for glucose as well as fructose, galactose and other dietary carbohydrates. In the process of glycolysis, one glucose molecule is converted into the two molecules of the pyruvate via series of steps or reactions. This whole process is known as the glycolysis and the glycolysis has total 10 steps or reactions. Here we are seeing the first step in the glycolysis that is the phosphorylation of the glucose. The glucose molecule in presence of hexokinase glucokinase enzyme, the phosphate group from this ATP is get transport to the 6th position of the glucose molecule and glucose 6-phosphate is generated. So in this first reaction we are seeing there are the two main enzymes are playing role in this reaction. One is hexokinase and second is the glucokinase. So why we are writing two enzymes in this reaction? We will discuss this in the next slide. Enzymes are generally classified into six classes. Hexokinase and glucokinase are kinase enzyme belonging to the class transferases. Kinase enzymes generally transfer the phosphate group from the ATP to the substrate. In the first step of glycolysis, phosphate group from the ATP it get transport to the 6 carbon of the glucose by hexokinase and glucokinase enzyme and glucose 6 phosphate is generated. Hexokinase and glucokinase are isozymes. What is the definition of isozymes? Isozymes are nothing but multiple forms of an enzyme that catalyze the same reaction but differ from each other in their amino acid sequence composition, substrate affinity, Vmax and regulatory properties are described as isozymes. There are four important mammalian hexokinase enzymes. These are designated as hexokinase 1, 2, 3, 4 or we can also refer them as hexokinase A, B, C and hexokinase D. Out of these four hexokinase, hexokinase 4 or hexokinase D is referred as glucokinase. That is glucokinase is nothing but the hexokinase 4 or hexokinase D. Hexokinase and glucokinase are referred as isozymes because they catalyze the same function that is the phosphorylation. Phosphorylation is carried out both by hexokinase and glucokinase. But the substrate they are phosphorylating are different. Hexokinase 1, 2, 3 or hexokinase ABC they catalyze the phosphorylation of glucose, fructose and galactose. Whereas or glucokinase, it can catalyze the phosphorylation of glucose only. Hexokinases 1 to 3, these are expressed in all the tissues of the body, whereas glucokinase is mainly expressed in liver and pancreatic beta cells only. Hexokinase enzyme can be found in all the tissues of the body where cellular metabolism occurs with the exception of liver and pancreatic beta cells. In other words, hexokinase is the major catalyst for cellular metabolism on the organism scale. This enzyme is active when the amount of available glucose is relatively stable or low. Hexokinase enzyme is having low Km for glucose about 0.1 millimolar. So, enzyme gets activated when the glucose concentration is very very low. 
and the affinity of the hexokinase towards the glucose is quite high. What this means is that when glucose supply is low, the enzymatic reaction can still occur and the maximum reaction rate that is Vmax of the hexokinase is also quite low meaning that it is not ideal for the rapid generation of the energy from glucose. Hexokinase is inhibited by its product glucose 6-phosphate. Therefore, it is most active when glucose 6-phosphate is being rapidly utilized. Glucokinase is an isoform of the hexokinase. Unlike hexokinase which is present in all the tissues, glucokinase is only present in the liver cells and beta pancreatic cells. The affinity of the glucokinase towards the glucose is very low, meaning that it will get activated only when more or high glucose concentration is available in the cell. This enzyme function at significant rate only after meal. Glucokinase is having high Km, about 6 millimolar for the glucose and it is very active after meal when glucose level in hepatic portal when are high. It is inactive during the fasting or when the blood glucose levels are low. Glucokinase gets induced when the insulin, insulin level are high and the maximum reaction rate that is Vmax of the glucokinase is quite high resulting in a rapid conversion of glucose into the usable energy. And this glucokinase is mainly used to synthesize glycogen in a process that is known as the glycogenesis. Let us summarize what we have learned so far. Hexokinase, it is found in all the tissues, whereas glucokinase, it is found in the hepatocytes, that is liver cells and beta cells in the pancreas. The Km value for the hexokinase is low because hexokinase is going to be active when the less glucose is available. Whereas Km value is high for the glucokinase because it will be active when the more glucose is available. The glucose affinity is high for the hexokinase means even when the low glucose is available, enzyme will get at work. But in case of glucokinase, it is having low affinity for glucose. That's why it will need more amount of the glucose to be active. That's why glucokinase is having the low affinity for the glucose. The maximum reaction rate in case of hexokinase is very, very low. Whereas maximum reaction rate is very, very high for glucokinase and the hexokinase is inhibited by its product glucose 6-phosphate whereas there is no such inhibition is seen in case of glucokinase. No hormonal control in case of hexokinase whereas glucokinase is induced by the insulin. Hexokinase they phosphorylate the substrates such as glucose, fructose, galactose, whereas glucokinase will work only when the glucose is available. The main purpose of the hexokinase is, is supplying glucose 6-phosphate regardless of the condition. That is, it will work even during the fasting stage. Whereas glucokinase it will work with insulin to decrease the blood glucose by converting it into glycogen via gluconeogenesis that it will be active only after the meal. Thank you.